Are you serious? You actually work for my dad's company? <laughs> what are the odds? I haven't seen you since you graduated high school a couple of years ahead of me, right? <laughs> this is so funny. I mean, of all people, it's the famous stinky Chloe. <laughs> are you still living with your mom in that old shack with nothing to eat? <laughs> How the hell did you get a job here in the first place? Hi, Kristen. Long time no speak. What a coincidence that we cross paths again. I just found out recently that you're the daughter of Director Morgan, too. Such a small world, isn't it? Yeah, really? <laughs> I heard rumors that you had to beg your father to work here because you kept getting fired for causing lots of trouble. So you were having difficulty finding a job, right? Well, listen to you. <laughs> I guess you've learned to talk back a bit. <laughs> but yeah, I won't deny it. I'm not ashamed. And for the record, none of it was my fault. Everyone I worked for was a moron. They didn't know how to use my skills and talents. So I did what I had to do to keep my reputation, which was find myself a better spot here, and it worked. Anyway, you should keep in mind that my position in this company is much senior than yours. You do as I say. Do you understand? Uh, senior? Are you sure about what you just said? Of course I am. And just because we go back since high school doesn't mean you get to slack off around me. I'm going to treat you just the same as other workers in this office. Um, Kristen, you literally joined the company today. You are a new face in this office and just because you're the director's daughter, it does not put you in a better position. And just to be clear, you have zero authority. That is something you earn as you become a team member in this company. Please keep that in mind. Excuse me? Who the hell do you think you are? I mean, look at yourself. An old woman in a stained jumpsuit getting dirt up every day for, what, like 10 years? How sad that you try to fulfill yourself by working in a big company, but you will never be better than me. You are going to stay exactly where you are no matter how long you work here. I'm sorry, are you calling me an old woman? I'm only two years older than you. Ew, that is so old. Whatever, but what is this about me being a part-timer? I think you're misunderstanding, Kristen. <laughs> Still trying to act big? Stop pretending to be someone you're not, Chloe. You're making yourself look even more miserable. A part-timer will never be an official member of this company. You are no one. I beg your pardon? Kristen, you seriously don't know anything about my role, do you? You should have done a bit more research before you joined today. You're embarrassing yourself. A role? <laughs> you mean the same role you've been keeping since high school as a part-timer at the factory? Oh, how pathetic, Chloe, really. I can't believe you stayed for over a decade doing the same thing. I mean, it's hilarious, too. <laughs> I am laughing so hard right now, I can barely breathe. And... You even think that you get to be bossy for working in a factory for 10 years? How sad! Interesting. I guess you stopped thinking for yourself when you were in high school. How unfortunate for you. What the hell is that supposed to mean? I'll let you do your own homework to find out what my role is here. I bet you'll understand exactly what I mean very soon. What the hell? If you have something to tell me, then just say it. You see, once you join the professional world, no one hands answers for free. Do your part and get some research done. You're a grown adult now. Think of it as a part of your training. Training? <laughs> That's not necessary for me. Clearly you are the one who doesn't understand anything. Why would I have to go through any of that? My father is the director here. I have an express ticket to the top. You are out of your mind, woman. <laughs> Kristen, I heard that you skipped your training session and were smoking on the balcony this morning. Let me be clear that if you skip training without notice or legitimate reasons, it will have a severe impact on your quarterly assessment. Also, smoking is only allowed outside of the building doors by law. There will be penalties for breaking it. Are you actually telling me what to do? Yes, I am. And this is your first warning. You're lucky that I'm even giving you a chance. You will follow the company rules or you will be asked to leave. I beg your pardon. Have you forgotten who my father is? I will not tolerate you talking to me like that. The reason why I'm even messaging you is because the member in charge of the training contacted me. He said that you won't listen to anything anyone says. 
So as a final notice, I'm letting you know that this is your last chance to participate as a trainee if you would like to stay in this company. Chloe, seriously, I think you're the one who needs a lesson. You might be older than me, but that means absolutely nothing here. Don't you get that we're not in high school anymore? Just because you finished school earlier than me doesn't put you in the position to tell me what to do, especially when I have privileges to do whatever I please. Of course, I know that we're not in high school anymore. That is why I'm messaging you now. Jesus, all of you are so stupid. You think a little scolding from an older woman is going to make me take stupid training sessions? I am the director's daughter, for crying out loud. Why aren't any of you listening to me? I am in a much higher position than all of you. Okay, I see that you still haven't found out what my role in this company is. You must really like being reminded of who you are, huh? <laughs> A tired old part-timer is what you are. You're a pathetic, useless hag clinging onto a job because you can't find a decent job anywhere else. Even if that were true, can you say that you are any better? At least I've been working, unlike you. Isn't this your first full-time job because you couldn't find anyone to hire you? You've been doing nothing but play since you finished school, right? You've only had small part-time jobs from all of which you were fired. No wonder you don't know how to act in an organization. And none of that matters now. I've been hired as a proper employee because I'm just that good. I have the potential, unlike you. So stop acting like you know everything. I appreciate your service, Miss Part-Timer, but it's time to listen to a real employee, capiche? No, but fine. If you'd like to go down that road, then so be it. If I recall correctly, your father is coming back from his business trip on Monday, I believe. So what? Are you going to try and talk to my father now? <laughs> Yes, I guess I'll have to. If you're blind enough to believe that you are almighty thanks to your daddy, then come see me with him on Monday. We can try to sort things out together. What? <laughs> oh, I know. I should just tell him that you're trying to act so bossy and get you fired. Why didn't I think of that sooner? Too bad, Chloe. Your time's up. After all these years of working here. This is actually a great opportunity to let everyone know that I can get anyone fired in a heartbeat if they don't listen to me. <laughs> Why don't you go and start packing to leave? <laughs> Daddy, when are you coming home? I need you to do a favor for me. I'll be coming home on Monday, darling. What is it? Is everything all right? There's this woman at work. She's just a part-timer, but she treats me like crap. She is so horrible to me. What? Horrible? How so? She does things on purpose just to annoy me. She is so mean and has absolutely no respect to newcomers. Like, she looks down on me. Kristen, I just want to be clear. You're not causing any trouble at work, are you? Because God knows how many times I've had to help you get out of serious troubles, all of which you and your selfishness were the root cause. Of course not. Come on, give me some credit here, Dad. I understand my position very well. Anyway, this super mean woman wants me to go and see her to sort things out. Wow, she must have some serious problem with you. She does, and I don't even know why. And she actually asks that you come along. I mean, how dare she asks you, of all people, right? She wants to see me too? I'm scared that she's going to say or do something super mean to me. Daddy, will you please come with me? You should check out with your own eyes how horrible she is and just fire her on the spot. That is not possible. I don't have the kind of authority to let someone go on the spot. You wouldn't let some nasty part-timer bully your daughter, though, would you? Please, Daddy, you have to help me. Well, I will have to see what exactly is going on, but I guess this is a good opportunity to see how you're fitting into the company. Okay, then. Uh, I'll tag along to see her with you. But I'm only going as an observer. I'm not going to intervene unless I find it necessary. And if what you are saying about her is true, perhaps I will seek the help of Human Resources or the CEO. Yes, thank you, thank you! You will see that what I'm saying is true. Oh, I can't wait until she gets what she deserves. Hey, I'm not making any promises. If I think this is something you should handle on your own, then I'm not taking any actions. I'm telling you, Daddy, you will. She is so horrible. Which department does she work for, by the way? She's in the factory. She works with the machines on the manufacturing line or something. The machines in the factory? Wait a second. Are you sure she's a part-timer? 
Only management-level employees who've had extensive training are allowed to touch the machines in the factory. I don't know. Maybe she's doing something she's not supposed to do. I can easily imagine her cheating. Yeah, that must be it. The only reason why she's been able to keep her job for decades. <laughs> anyway, Dad, you'll see what I mean on Monday. I'll stop by your office and we can go to her together. Talk to you later. Hey, listen up, woman. I told my father about you. Okay. And? Let's see if you can keep that attitude of yours on Monday. I am so going to finish your time here at this company. You will be seeing my father just as you wished. And he is so going to fire you after he sees how rude you are to me. It's over. Oh, and I just can't wait to tell you to get out. Very interesting, Kristen. It's so funny that you think I'm going to oblige to that. You won't have any other choice but to, you loser. <laughs> You are so dumb. You still don't understand the position you're in. Let me tell you though, you are done. You will never get anywhere in life. How so? I mean, you are 30 for crying out loud. You're so old and yet you can't even keep a part-time job. How the hell do you think that's going to look on your resume? <laughs> no one's going to want you. You won't be able to find a decent job. You'll be the biggest loser ever. Oh, this is going to be so funny. I should get everything recorded so I can show everyone from high school. <laughs> hey, Kristen, I just arrived at the office from the airport. Where do you need me? Daddy, welcome back. I've been dying to hear from you. Is your meeting with the woman you're talking about still happening? Yes, of course. Can you meet me by the entrance of Factory A? I'll head down now. Okay, but give me a few minutes. I want to let the CEO know I'm back. Well, I guess it can wait. She seems out of her office now anyway. All right, I'll meet you in a few minutes. I can't believe my dad was on his knees. I've never seen him like that, ever. Your poor father was petrified when he realized you were talking about me this whole time. I've never seen someone beg for forgiveness like that either. I feel bad he had to go through that, especially after working so hard to get you a spot in the company. It wasn't my intention to make him apologize for you. I am still in disbelief. What the hell happened? What did you do to become the CEO of the company? You were just a part-timer. It doesn't make any sense. You really didn't do any research before coming to work, did you? I mean, a student would know that they need to get as much information as possible before starting a new job. It's really sad that you had no interest of finding out anything about work. If you had, you would have found out who I was in a few minutes. But how, though? How the hell did you become the CEO? It's only been 10 years or so since you started working at the company. The previous CEO, meaning the owner of the company, is my grandfather on my mother's side. Huh? To give you an overview, I had always been interested in my grandfather's work, so I went to college to learn in the same field. I wanted to get hands-on experience and get to know the people as soon as possible. So I started working as a part-timer at the factory while I was still in school. And after graduating, I became a proper employee. It wasn't always easy being a young leader, but I worked my ass off the past 10 years to get to where I am. And I'm proud to say it wasn't just my blood that got me here. I had the support and approval of my employees when I became CEO last year. This is something that you could have learned beforehand if you had done some research. Too bad you had to embarrass yourself in front of your father. Wait a minute, that still doesn't make sense. What doesn't? You were poor back then. You never had a father and you lived in an old shack with your mom. Everyone called you Smelly Chloe because you were always wearing the same clothes. You couldn't have been rich. It's true that my mom and I lived a pretty modest lifestyle, but no, we were never poor. You and your friends just made that up in your head. Have you ever visited my house? No. Did I actually smell bad? Also, no. You just had a very rich imagination that you made yourself believe all that. No way. Well, if you are the CEO, then why do you still handle the machines in the factory? You should be in the office building, in your own room with leather couches and everything. What the hell are you doing in the factory wearing a jumpsuit? Oh, I see what you mean. Well, it's true that I work in the office a lot more than I used to, but there were some irregularities around the workplace that I had to pitch in. So I was doing what was required of me, that's all. What kind of a situation makes it necessary for the CEO to wear a jumpsuit and work the machines in a factory? That is nonsense. 
No, it's not. We work as a team. It simply happens that the employee who usually is in charge of the machines fell ill and was admitted to the hospital. Someone else, of course, pitched in to help at first, but the person who pitched in had been scheduled to fly to California to receive training for the new machines being installed next month. That's also super important, so I had to keep his schedule for the training, which meant that we were short of staff who can handle the machines, and there was no way we were going to stop production. So, having had a lot of experience with them, I just stepped in to help. Just like that? You are the CEO, but can change into a jumpsuit and get dirty? Why the hell not? I do not have any problem getting a little dirty, and the job is so fundamental to our business that it must be prioritized. My other work could be replaced, but not this one. That's why I had your father go on that business trip last week to attend the conference on my behalf. Oh. Well, yeah, I might have heard him mention that he was taking someone else's place. So, yeah, now you have the full story. Happy now? Anyway, if you don't have any other questions, I must go. After all, I'm a busy woman with a lot on my plate. Chloe, forgive me for messaging you so late. Are you busy right now? Good evening, Daniel. No, nothing is all right. I'm so horrified about what my daughter has done. I'm so sorry. I've never been so embarrassed in my entire life. It's all right, Daniel. She's a grown woman. I don't blame you for her actions. I'm sorry, too, that you had to go through that. I didn't mean to embarrass you in front of others. Please, forgive me. Oh, God, no, please. You don't need to apologize for anything. As much as I appreciate what you just said, this is my fault. I should have raised her more strictly. She'll no longer bother you, though, I promise. I've already spoken to HR and asked that she be officially removed from the company. She does not belong in our company. But I thought you wanted her to work so that she finally straightens herself up. I did. I let my ex-wife spoil her so much that Kristen ended up being uncontrollably selfish. And of course it's my fault that I was so busy with my career that I never intervened in how she was raising Kristen. That's why I wanted to get it right this time, once and for all. But I've failed again. Me letting her in the company only gave her the wrong idea that she had some sort of power. In fact, it simply boosted her selfishness and made the situation worse. I'm so sorry that I didn't think better. You wouldn't have had to go through, my daughter, if I never took my eyes off of her in the first place. I accept your apology, Daniel. Thank you. You don't need to beat yourself up so much for what happened. That said, I think it is true that she got the wrong idea. It's a bit difficult to understand how she thinks the way she does. In all honesty, she was kind of the same in high school, too. I know, and I should have done something back then, too. Anyway, I don't want her causing any more trouble, not with you, or the company, or me. I'm going to admit her somewhere so she can be treated. She has some kind of personality disorder and it needs to be controlled. I'm hoping a real program would help her get better. I've already called several places that offer professional help. Oh, that might not be a bad idea. Professional help would be the best for her in the end. Although, I bet she's not going to like it. No, she's going to hate me for putting her in program, but her feelings toward me won't matter. I need to do this for her, or else she's going to end up in bigger trouble someday. I agree. Well, I really hope she'll overcome her troubles soon. Thank you for your kind words, Chloe. Chloe! Chloe, you have to help me! My dad is getting me locked up in some madhouse or something! Please tell him to stop! But let me apologize to you uh, formally! I will do whatever you want me to do. I admit that you are the greatest CEO in everything. Uh, hey, I'll even take that training you wanted me to! Please, Chloe, help! Don't fire me! I don't want to get locked up with a bunch of psychos! Not that I was ever going to help her, but I only saw the missed calls and messages when I finished work, after she was taken away. It looks like her father hired a security company to escort her to the institution that she'll be staying at until she finished the proper treatment. When she was being taken from her home, she begged and cried, but her father never listened to a word she said. And before she knew it, she had arrived at the institution that ran a program aimed for people who were harmful to others. 
Unfortunately for her, it was far from one of those luxury facilities. In the program, which she's still in, she has to earn points to do what she wants. For example, clean the toilet to get her smartphone back. For a completely spoiled, selfish person like Kristen, it must be the worst nightmare. I can only imagine it would be a long road for her, but I hope she can one day truly understand, for her father's sake, what it means to be selfless and kind. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the like button. See you next time.